Hi guys, Mr. Ruffles here. This is my no-nonsense guide for you to upgrade this gun, the Kraken, in Voyage of Despair. And surprise, surprise, the first step you need to do in order to upgrade the Kraken is to get the Kraken. And you get the Kraken by just spinning the mystery box. Nice and straightforward. And you can actually make it a little bit more easy for yourself to get the Kraken if you go into custom mutations and you turn off a lot of the other weapons in the map. So for example, if there's only pistols available and the Kraken in the mystery box, you can grab both the pistols by mule kick and then force the game to give you the Kraken because it's got nothing else to give you from the box. That's just one option for those you that want to do this in mutations though obviously this works in classics as well just spin the mystery box until you get the kraken now another thing that i'm putting in here at the beginning of this guide is unlocking the sentinel or rather securing the sentinel artifact the reason for that is that this is going to open up a bunch of doors in the map and allow us to travel a lot more freely and so i think that this really should be the first thing that you do in any of your games it's just a good idea so that's what i'm doing here you run over you hold square you're done now we're going to take a look at some of the part spawns that you're going to use in order to actually upgrade the gun itself if you're coming up the stairs on the right hand side here from the spawn and you're running through to the grand ballroom as you can see here or the upper grand staircase you come down the stairs go through this door on the right hand side and there's a sloped wooden door on this table there is a potential part spawn also, on the other side of this room, on the left-hand side here, there's another potential spawn, and that's where I had it in my game. Now, I have never seen a third part spawn for this, but if there is one, if you can't see a part in either of those locations I've just shown you, don't worry, I'll simply list it and detail it in the description down below so that you guys can still do this. But I'm pretty sure, as far as my 100 restarts have told me, that there are only two parts available for that particular spawn, or two spawns for that part, rather. Now then, we're going towards our next possible spawn location, and this is kind of in the same sort of direction that you previously have gone if you were going over to the Sentinel Artifact from the spawn, but halfway there, we're going to start going down these stairs. That's going to lead us to a kind of kitchen area, and on the countertop there, you can find a little tube part. Alternatively, another spawn location for it is through this corridor and on this set of shelves. You can see it looks like there's a kind of funnel there and then it goes into some metal tubing. That is your second part. And once again, if you're missing it, guys, description down below. I'll have you covered. So now we're in the spawn again. You just saw Danu. We're going for our third part. And this time, instead of going up onto the ship, we're going down right where we were and into the water. Now, you can turn the water off, or rather you can drain the water if you like, but you don't have to in order to grab this part. Simply swim towards the Pack-a-Punch pedestal, and then turn around, and on the right side of the room there, you should see a part. It's like a coiled spring. Then, another spawn for it can be a little further back, just sitting on those wooden boxes under the water. Now remember, if you're going to drown down there, you can drain the water, you're okay, but you should be able to jump in and jump out without any hassle. Now that we've got all three part locations, we're going to actually build the upgrade bench itself. And so one last time, I'm running, this time with stamina up to make things a little bit easier for you guys to watch, from the spawn area up and onto this top level mid deck part of the map, across around on these boats, and then swinging back onto the aft decks. And we're going to go down the slope and past the buildables bench that we used previously for the shield. That is not the bench that we want to use. Instead, we're going under the artifact side this time. So go past that wall weapon, run down this corridor, and again, I always say you can drop down there on the left if you like, but just for the ease of viewing, I'm going to go down the stairs here, then there's another set of stairs, and then there's the provisions room, and pretty much right around the corner from the provisions room, you're going to find your buildable table. You just go down here and it's basically right there ready for you to craft. Now, this is where things get interesting. You can clearly craft this distillation kit and that's what's going to allow you to upgrade your Kraken, but you need another part in order to complete the process. This part can be acquired by killing these elemental zombies. So grab your Kraken, kill the elemental zombies with the Kraken, and you'll see that they sometimes drop these concentrated elements. It'll be concentrated purity or radiance, etc. You're going to bring whatever item you get from those elemental catalyst zombies, and you can then spend 3,000 points. So it's not cheap, but that's what's going to allow you to actually give the elemental flavor, if you like, 
to your Kraken. Now, there are four types of elemental upgrade. There's Purity, which is the one that we've just seen, the Frosty Foot. So this is essentially the Ice Staff equivalent. Then there's Plasma, which is a fiery skull that drops from the Magma Zombies. There's Radiance, which comes from the Lightning Guys. And finally, Decay, which comes from the kind of gassy zombies. And each of the body parts, respectively, are Foot, Skull, Hand, and Heart. Now, if you do an upgrade, let's say you do Frosty Foot, for example. You do your Concentrated Purity, and you get an Icy Kraken. But then you want a different elemental upgrade. All you've got to do is the same sort of process that we went through a moment ago of killing elemental catalyst zombies with your kraken until they drop you a concentrated item, a foot, skull, hand, or heart, and then you just go over to the bench, pay another three grand, and kaboom, you've got a new upgrade on your kraken. Another really important thing to note here is that the kraken, after it's upgraded with an elemental flavor, can then also be upgraded in the Pack-a-Punch. So you can just straight up go up to the Pack-a-Punch. You don't have to do any kind of quest for it. You just go up to the pap and boom, you can upgrade your elemental gun and make it even better. So that's what I'm going to be showcasing gameplay wise for the rest of this video. The upgraded, as in Pack-a-Punched, upgraded as in elemental versions of the Kraken. If you need a full pack a punch guide, I have one on my channel. It'll be linked in the top right hand corner of the screen right now. But it's very simple on this map. I'll give you a quick reminder. Essentially, you go to the Sentinel artifact location and there's that stone kind of object that you hold square on and you do that four times around the map and then you're basically good. If that doesn't ring a bell, go watch my guide. I've got you covered. Anyway, here are the elemental upgrades. We'll kick things off with the Concentrated Purity Ice version of the Kraken. Once it's upgraded, it becomes the grip of Akaro Kamui, or at least I hope it's pronounced that way. And it essentially creates a small snowstormy type effect, snowy kind of wind that kind of drifts out of the gun for a second and then basically disappears. Now, straight away, you'll notice that these upgrades are nowhere near as crazy as like the bow upgrades from DE, for example. And that makes me think that potentially there's actually going to be a further, like a third upgrade process that we can use for these Kraken weapons. But for now, this is what we've got. The grip of Akaro Kamui shoots out a little frosty storm. It should be noted that that storm slows zombies if it doesn't kill them and... I feel like that's a theme that we see across quite a lot of Black Ops 4, stuns and slows on zombies being suddenly quite important now, so that is definitely an effect that you achieve with this weapon. Now let's move on to the Concentrated Plasma or Fire Kraken. When you upgrade it, it's going to be called the Breath of Leviathan, which is the coolest goddamn name in the world. Holy guacamole, that thing sounds great. Basically, this one is just a regular cannon. Like, you can think of it like a ship's cannon, I suppose. Except it kind of has a weird arc of its trajectory. Like, the way that it fires just feels a little bit less straight, I suppose, than you might expect. Normally, the fire upgrades for any of these wonder weapons in Zombies maps tend to be the coolest looking ones. But I don't think this one actually wins that battle here. Just because, again... The effect is really kind of toned down compared to what we're used to. But anyway, moving on, there's also the Concentrated Radiance one, which is the Lightning Upgrade. And the name for this, and again, you're going to have to forgive me for this pronunciation, is Incanyamba's Roar, I believe. Now, interestingly, this is essentially not a Lightning Upgrade. Instead, it feels like it's closer to wind. I mean, if you look at the way that regular zombies react to being shot by this, it's like it's a thunder gun that's run out of compressed air. Like, they fly backwards, but only a tiny amount. And, I mean, they die in the same way that a thunder gun might kill them, but the ragdoll just doesn't really go very far at all. Still, as long as it's doing damage, it's fine by me, and so... Inkanyamba's Roar is one of my favorite of all these elemental upgrades. I'm just really hoping that we get a crazy OP version of it somehow from the Easter Egg or something like that. That would be awesome. Finally, Concentrated Decay, the gas zombie, which drops a gassy heart. This particular upgrade is a bit weird because, I mean, it makes a kind of green splash. But really, it just feels like the original Kraken. Like, again, 
I'm really hoping that there's some continuation of these upgrades because this particular one might as well just not be upgraded, as far as I'm concerned, at least. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe it's amazing on bosses or something like that. And if so, then I'll obviously make a follow-up video about that. But certainly in the context of the games that I've played, this particular upgrade called Jormungandr's Fang doesn't really live up to its potential. Now then, we've got through all the upgraded, upgraded Krakens here. The question remaining is, which do you like the most? Which one are you going to prioritize getting in your games? Are you going to ask your friends if you can grab that plasma head instead of them so that you can get the fire upgrade? Or are you more into the kind of limp thunder gun? Let me know in the comments down below. Fingers crossed this no-nonsense guide has been useful. I've also thrown in a load of gameplay at the end here because that's something that people always ask me for every single time. But yeah, I'll have full Voyage of Despair Easter egg guides and all sorts of other things for the other maps coming very soon. So make sure you're subscribed and turn on notifications. And I'll hopefully see you in another Black Ops 4 Zombies video. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.